everyone. Welcome back to Code Searcher. All right, folks. The other night when we were in the live broadcast, uh, the very first live stream that we did, uh, one of the viewers asked if I had found War 2016. And I indeed had not found that. But uh, we started working it in that chat room. Uh, and I want to go over a couple of things in hindsight after you know, reviewing some of the uh, news headlines some of you may have seen it I've posted on Facebook about Iran and uh, this recent nuclear deal that uh, they've made um, so let's just cover this I'm going to blow this up just a little bit here so we can see these letters a little better I'm told sometimes that the letters sometimes come out a little blurry when they're so small in the font so blow them up there to about a 10 or so. Now this comes on a cylinder width, guys, of 7079. So this is not a huge, huge cylinder. It's uh, under 10,000. But I want to point out one of the uh, most obvious things about this table that broke the pattern, and that is war was here five times in plain text. I think the other one's gone off the side there. Just give me a moment to move there it is this side it's one two three four and five times six times vertically in, in the actual access term but um, I've been noticing war three times in most of the other tables uh, what was really astounding about this particular one is the way I ran appeared vertically now folks since the broadcast, I found a few more things, okay? Okay, well, we just want to cover Azoto Brit, which is the United States, right here in the purple, and you also had China, with these three letters. China is Sin, in Hebrew, the Summit Yog Nun, okay? Korea is also here. Korea, going across, stopping where this war is, but it's also up here, Korea, and there's an olive and a hay off this way here. Uh, with in the same line is the word attacked uh, but this is recent I just found this today and this is his sword his sword connects with the rash in Iran which is vertical with war and it's very significant also have in there uh, Yemi Noach the days of Noach it's also here horizontally uh, crossing over. It's also here, and it's also in the plain text as a, an abacus effect right here. Uh, House of Yehula is also here three times. It's amazing because we're talking about a third temple. Uh, wormwood right here, and wormwood in this one line here, which is uh, has the word Islam crossing over, but uh, it's very interesting what that verse is, folks. We're going to cover that here now. I want to show you this clustering of from about here down to this line here. And we're going to we'll, we'll read down to here, uh, which is all Isaiah. This is a huge clustering of Isaiah right there. But uh, let me just read you. Oh, I forgot to show you, Russia is also in here, folks, in, in red, going off the page there, Russia. So most major con countries are here, and this is still preliminary in this, this uh, table here. But I wanted to get it out to you because I believe there's an urgency in, uh, in, well, in hindsight after the uh, Atomic Holocaust table that uh, war is coming used to be 2016 is the magic year for that. Um, so we're in the third chapter of Isaiah. Starting here, you can see how I've got this. This is not words that I've got highlighted for any particular reason. This is just me uh, marking this, this particular area uh, just by double clicking on the letters. Uh, the, the more the letters they are, the more significant I thought it was. And I went ahead and highlighted that whole verse there with Wormwood connected to it. But let me just read for this uh, for you this day. We'll start with um, 
For behold, the, Ele the Adonai of Adonai's of hosts doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread, the whole stay of water, the mighty man and the mighty and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty and the honorable men, man and the counselor and the cunning artifice and the eloquent orator. And I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed every one by another and every one by his neighbor the, sh the child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable when a man shall take hold of his brother in the house of his father saying thou hast clothed thou hast clothing be thou our ruler and let this ruin be under thy hand in that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be a healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. For Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because of their tongue, and their doings are against the Adonai, to provoke the eyes of his glory. They shew their countenance, doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom and they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye unto the righteous, it shall be well with him, for they shall eat of the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given unto him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, which lead the, the air, excuse me. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and, to, and destroy the way of thy pass. The Adonai standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. And the Adonai will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and with the princes thereof. For you have eaten up the vineyard and the spoil of the poor is in your house. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind their face to the poor, saith the Adonai Elohim of hosts. Moreover, the Adonai saith, because of the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go and making a twinkling with their feet. Therefore the Adonai will smite with a scab of the crown of the head, the daughters of Zion, and the Adonai will discover their secret parts. And in that day, Adonai will take away the bravery of their twinkling ornaments about their feet, and their calls, and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and their mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of their legs and headbands and tabrets and the earrings. And I just kind of kept going there, but I, I, the, the whole chapter was interesting to me. But uh, we're going to do the same thing here. Just see if you can see a pattern here, folks, because we're skipping from the third chapter now to the tenth chapter at a skip of 7,079. And these are the verses that come through here. So this is where we are. You can see the Lama lit up there in 10.9. But I'm going to back up to verse 1 and start reading from there. Because it's a good idea to get an, an idea where this is all going. You can see what's happening with the economy. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn away the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey that they may rob the fatherless and what will they do in the day of, vi of visitation and the desolation which shall come from afar to whom will they flee for help and where will ye leave your glory without me they shall bow under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slain 
For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in the hand of mine indignation, this is his sword, the Assyrian, the, the Islam. I will send him against the hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him charge to take spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like a mire in the streets? Howbeit he meaneth not so, neither doth his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and to cut off a nation and to cut off nations not of few. For he hath said, are, ye, are not my princes altogether kings? And I'm stopping right there, but I, I thought that was interesting because it brings up the sword, O Assyrian. You know who that is. Even if it doesn't say that on his birth certificate. Here we are in the 18th chapter. And I'm just going to back it up. And I think it was 3 where I wanted to start. All ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth, see ye what he lifted up an ensign on the mountains. And when he bloweth a trumpet, hear ye. For so the Lord, excuse me, for so the Adam nigh said unto me, I will take my rest, and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herbs, and like a cloud of dew in the heat of the harvest. For a four of the harvest, and when a bud is perfect, and a sour grape is ripening in the flower, he shall both cut off the sprigs with pruning hooks and take away and cut down the branches and they shall be left together unto the fowls of the mountains and to the beasts of the earth and the fowls shall summer upon them and the beasts of the earth shall winter upon them and in that time shall the present be brought unto the Adonai of host of a people scattered and peeled and from a people terrible from their beginning here, here, here unto, a nation met it out and trod it underfoot, whose land and rivers have spoiled to the place of the name of Adonai of Elohim, of the host, excuse me, the Mount Zion. And then, of course, this one, which is in the 26th chapter. And I think you know where I'm going with that. We'll back it on up a little bit. Adonai, in the trouble have I visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them, like a woman with child that draweth near in the time of her delivery, as a woman in travail, is, the, is in pain and crieth out in her pangs. So have we been in the sight of O Elohim. We have been with child, and we have been in pain, and we have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live, together with uh, my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is the dew of the herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, into thy chambers. Here it is. Wormwood, right in there with it. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Adonai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, for their iniquity, and the earth shall be, excuse me, and the earth shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. And just to keep going a little bit, and see where what's happening here. And in that day, the Adonai with his sword and his with his and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And they shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. 
and then we're going to go down here, I believe was uh, the next interesting place, which is the 66th chapter. I think I'm going to back it up a little. All right. For thus says Yadonai, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye so, and shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled, dan, dandled upon her knees. As from whom her mother comfort, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your hearts rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of Yahuwah shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Adonai will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Adonai plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Adonai shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind the one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouth, shall be consumed together, saith the Adonai. For I know their works and their thoughts, and it shall come, and I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And, and I will set a sign among them, and I will send them those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, to Pool, to Lud, that draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, and the isles far off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto Yahuwah, out of the nations upon horses and chariots and litters, upon mules, upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, saith the Adonai, as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel to the house of Adonai. So I will take off of them, excuse me, and I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, saith the Adonai. As for the new heavens and a new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, said the Adonai. I sh so shall your seed in your name remain. And it shall come to pass from new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before the Adonai. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. And that sounds like Gehenna, or hell, or Sheol. It looks like we we will be able to see those that are burning in hell. Their fire will, will not be quenched. Wow. And this is all right here, all in a clustering of uh, Isaiah. So like I said, this particular one is uh, preliminary. This is what we were working on the other night. And so uh, I haven't got to highlight any of the verses that I thought were significant, but it's going to be all of these right here. Uh, judgment here twice, war five times, six if you count the access term, and I ran his sword running right through it. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this one up here, folks, because i got uh, a couple of more that I want to get out to you like this one. Messengers of War, or Messenger of War. If you recall, I did this one around the time of the comments, or was working around the time of the comments. Uh, where we have comment here, and this will be assigned to you and I uh, for the children of Israel. The comment and Mars coming together, if you remember that. That was a harbinger of war. Here you see war. One, two, three, four, five. But look at this. It's also a vertical crossing itself. It's also in the same line of itself with an ELS. 
you see there, sharing that chet in the middle. So we'll be covering this one too. I didn't want to kind of cram it all into the same one. So um, the, the video would be too long. Folks, keep this ministry in prayer, please. We have a need, uh, a financial need that we need to take care of to uh, continue on. And this ministry is about $2,000. Now, uh, we, I had a similar need year before last. And you uh, took care of it within 24 hours. So uh, keep me in your prayer. Um, he knows all about it. I'm just putting that out there. I notice times are hard for everyone, um, especially with this uh, hanging over our heads with the economic crisis. Listen, Glazerson just put this out, and I, this is when I have to work. Still, it's found one time in a Tanakh, all these letters, which talks about the crisis of uh, the economy. So we still have that one to work. Look at all those letters. So, it's hard for everyone, folks, but if, if, if I'm going to do what I believe he wants me to do in the next few months, I'm going to need some financial help on that. I need underwriters, supporters, um, sponsors, uh, whatever I can get on this channel to help to get this um, message out, because there's some serious things coming down the pike, folks. Uh, first thing I see is war, as we see here, War 2016. I have requests to come do some speaking engagements and uh, well, he knows the need so I just put it out there pray for me Shalom Yehovah bless you